welcome to Caroline's Handmaids. Today I'm coming to you from my patio. It's beautiful weather today here in Maryland and uh, it's a beginning of fall and I love it. My favorite season is fall and then spring obviously because it's so much cooler. I just can't take the extreme weather. But anyway, sitting out here on the patio and coming to you today with a review of the new pattern released from Cashmere I don't think it's not a club pattern it is just a Cashmere Rats release of the new pattern uh, you would if you want to see more pictures I'm also going to put pictures here but um, there's more available on my Instagram which is Caroline's underscore handmaids so this is this beautiful Grafton here it's called a Grafton dress top and skirt so i'm going to be looking down here at the pattern and the notes so let me just show it to you this is the grafton dress that i made so the grafton dress comes in sizes 12 to 32 and cup sizes c through h that's quite a um quite a um range right so this is why i like cashmere red patterns because it has such a beautiful range sizing range it comes with three bodice options five neckline options six sleeve options and seven skirt options again i've been i, I am a cashmere red colla collaborator for this year so i get in exchange for the i get the free pattern and then i get to sew up pattern so let me just talk to you a little bit about the grafton i enjoyed making it i love making dress right now dresses work well for me because i can wear them to the office and the church once i retire in a few years that probably will change to my wardrobe will probably change so dresses work well for me right now so the grafton dress top and skirt it's a mix and match for, and you can come up with 400 plus garments. If I may read to you just a little description, you can mix and match your way to a wardrobe that's uniquely yours with the Grafton dress top skirt. It's a mix and match pack. It's the curve friendly. This, this is a curve friendly pattern and comes with cup sizes C through H and multiple skirts, bodice sleeve, and neckline options to make over 400 possible mid dress skirts and tops. So a casual skater dress, a trendy asymmetrical skirt, a glamorous gown, an elevated tee, a retro frock, and so much more. You can choose your own adventure every time you sew the Grafton. And the sewing level of the Grafton is um, advanced beginner. I enjoyed making the pants, uh, the dress. So one of the things that I like about um, Cash Barrette is most often if you make a dress, their bodices are lined. This one is not lined because the fabric was a little heavier. But, you know, and I, I'll tell you later, but I made a mistake. So that's why I had to skip out on the lining. So let me just show it to you. These are the, um, I'll also put up pictures, hopefully. These are your basic pieces of the Grafton. <clears throat> so, and here are more pieces. You can, if you follow Cashmere on Facebook or Instagram, they've been posting a lot of makes uh, and pictures um, so here are some of the options of the Grafton <clears throat> uh, let me go uh, go through uh, the sizing so I made they have you can calculate uh, for full bust or, or you know if you're just a standard bust uh, obviously so the um, measurements for a size 12 i'll just say the full bust is a 40 and um, 
measurement for size 32 for the full bust CD, I'm talking about the CD cup, is 60 inches. And the GH cup, which is the most, goes through to about 62 inches. That's a lot. So that that's, gives a lot of um, wiggle room. I mean, a lot of ways you can size up, size down, whatever you need, right? So, and then the hip goes, at least for me, so sizing, well, the skirt I use is the A-line skirt and goes from a size 44 and a quarter inch all the way up to a 64 and a quarter inch. And um, the circle skirt is even more, but you know what, you can go to the cashmere.com um, and see all their their um, the information and measurements so it's size 12 to 32 they have a full bust a relaxed bodice you know and a fitted bodice they have quite a few options there okay um, I'm going page by page here I do want to say the finished garment measurements on the C and D cups ranges from sizes um, um, ranges from the inches of 42 inches for size 12 and 62 inches for size 32 and it's obviously for stretch material such as ITY, Liverpool, Ponty, or Double Knit. Mine, I think, is more of a, an ITY, but it seemed to like a little heavier ITY because I just didn't need, I didn't feel the need to line it. So, and it also comes with a turtleneck option for the winter. So it has 23 pieces, a total of 23 pieces. To make this garment but 23 pieces because they're giving you so many four different skirt styles and lots of different bodice necklines and sleeves so let's see right there those are all the pieces so I chose the fitted bodice it does have um, bust darts. I chose the fitted bodice with um, the bishop sleeves and I did cho choose the waistband with the elastic in the back and that is a genius I think the elastic in the back I really love that I'm not in the front right the back it gives you so it's so much easier to get in first I made when I first made the dress I was like, and I put the waistband on I thought of leaving the waistband without the elastic and well, I wasn't thinking I don't know I wasn't thinking but then I said hmm, why is it a little too loose and then I went back and I thought oh I just need to cinch it in I'll go surge off the sides or something didn't realize that I went back to the pattern and then realized that an elastic goes to the, in the back and that's gets cinched in and it really did it so anyway so that was it let's see what else about this pattern that I enjoyed so anyway the bishop sleeves were great I chose the bishop sleeves option came together real well um, I don't know I made a mistake and didn't cut it it was just a mistake. I didn't cut it, you know, against the with the proper grain direction. And so this had little to no stretch in it at the at the um, wrist, but it worked out. The, pa the fabric had a little stretch. So it was comfortable. I wore it all day to work. I'll put pictures uh, all day to work and it worked well. It, it, I, I didn't suffer from not having a little stretch in the in the wrist so and I also did choose the length that goes below the the, the a-line skirt 
and the length was below, just slightly below the knee, which is what I prefer. I prefer usually slightly below the knee or or um, ankle, calf length, sorry. Also, I always like necklines and I did choose the scoop neckline, which I like. I always prefer a scoop um, or a V neckline or a square neckline. I do not like a, I do not like the crew, you know, right up there, the throat, I feel like I'm choking. Sorry, my neighbors are out and so I can hear her. And if you hear her, she's always yelling at her dogs. So there was this interesting option I thought for the dress, which was a very relaxed, um, off the shoulder option, which I think a lot of people may like it, but it was not for me. This, this kind here is the, yeah, it's a little off the shoulders here very relaxed and it's very more casual I think uh, what else about this and then they have the circle skirt option they have the turtleneck for the skirt so the Grafton is a very fun and interesting I also um, dress a pattern I also eliminated the pockets on this one it does come with pockets I eliminated the pockets because the fabric to me even though it was a sturdy knit, I felt like I was going to add bulk to the sides, so I didn't want that because, like I said, the fabric is medium weight, and I kind of liked the entire fitted look, so I didn't want to, um, it to show like I was wearing, I had pockets on the side, you know. So for the next time that I make the Grafton. I think I'm going to change up. I think I'm making another grafting for the winter. And I think I'm going to do the turtleneck dress. A turtleneck dress. Because I, I don't have a turtleneck dress. And I thought I'd choose that. Um, and the turtleneck dress with a longer, the longer A-line skirt. I think that would make it real good. See this skirt right here and the turtle the turtleneck over there the turtleneck right there so this is going to be my next uh, grafton but i love the grafton imagine if you could put together um 400 different options you could basically change it up for the entire year you could make a you know a, 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 so you can start with winter spring summer fall and the in-betweens because it does have a sleeveless options too. So this is a very versatile uh, pattern. And I hope you would consider, you know, it goes from a size, they also have, the sizes are also available in size zero through 16. So basically the sizes go from a zero to 32. That's a lovely, lovely range. The cashmere red, to me, the cashmere at, for me, my body type, the cashmere at bodice and uh, the pants fit me really well because I am smaller up and bigger at the bottom. Oh, I forgot to tell you what size I made, right? So I did grade. I made a size, um, give me a second, please. Oh, I made a size um bodice fitted bodice right so i did a size um a size 18 20 and then i graded to the waist yeah a size 20. no i did a straight a straight size 20 that fitted very well um Usually I grade a couple of sizes at the waist, so, but this time I did a straight size 20 and it worked beautifully. Um, so I hope you, you would consider making this. Um, I don't get anything, any compensation for saying that because I think you'll enjoy making it. Um, so do subscribe to my channel uh, if you'd like or comment. Um, how
comment below. And also f go ahead, if you consider it, go to cashmerette.com and look at, uh, look at their patterns or join, consider their club if you'd like. Um, and this fabric is a purchase I made from none of them. My favorite fabric store is Fabric Mart Fabrics in Pennsylvania. So this is for, uh, I do buy from Fabric Mart Fabrics. Well, thank you all for watching. Do like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope to see you all again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.